So today I'm gonna give you guys a little run through on the game. So you know what I'm saying, cause you guys, you know, it's your first time playing the game. Let me give you guys a little run through. You feel me? Okay. The first thought we have missions. Basically, missions they are how you get XP and cash in the game. So to join a mission, you just stand on the pad basically, and you can pick between a certain map and a certain difficulty. The only way to go up one difficulty is to beat that difficulty. So yeah, and I don't know what this one is because I haven't got it yet because I'm normal is really hard. But difficulties are pretty simple. Easy mode is just all regular times. Medium mode is all regular times. In hard mode, you might get like one abnormal or two abnormal titans extreme you're going to get half abnormal and half regular in abnormal mode you're getting straight abnormal titans bro abnormal is insanely hard but that's basically how the modes work it's pretty simple and then for the npcs on the map npcs they're also really easy to do basically you click npc he'll probably give you a quest or he probably won't i don't really know sometimes they're a little different but you get a quest from npc he'll be like kill this many players or killing this many times for me see right here i have a bunch of missions that i have to do but i haven't done them yet but basically kill five players open one crate and yeah those are all the missions missions are pretty simple you get them you get extra xp for your quest and then you have perks and upgrades basically to do this you just come to this guy right here and you click t on him okay there we go so when this pops up you just want to click upgrade because this is a quest but I just click upgrade for right now so how this works is gas range durability critical and the rest of the stuff basically i would recommend upgrading just these two for right now because these are the most like helpful but they're pretty cheap to upgrade unless you have like it fully maxed out then it costs like a hundred thousand and yeah <laughs> but to upgrade these up with the fully you have to give it prestige one to be prestige you have to get to a level 100 then prestige over but yeah that's how you get prestige and to get to get skills i'm gonna get to that later but i'm gonna show you guys how to get skills later don't worry about that but basically there's 3d mover gear and there's also um apg gun gear for the gun gear you just have to buy it it's a little expensive but you buy it and it kind of has like, the same exact thing as on um, what's called 3dm 3dg maneuver gear and um yeah it's also pretty simple and then for or thunder spears i think prestige one for that which i'm not so i don't have it sadly but to get that you basically have to be prestige one so that's kind of the entire rundown of some um, upgrades and things like that okay now on to this guy over here yeah you see this guy yeah this guy's basically just a clothing store you basically just come to him you give you a quest but just click shop um basically just, just clothes you can buy these they're, little, they're not that expensive but buy clothes but crates if you want to buy crates there's only like one crate in the game right now but sometimes they come out like a dragon ball z crate which you can get like a dragon ball z item or something like that basically crates they just give you like what's it called clothing items and stuff like that that so they're not really that helpful i wouldn't recommend buying these at all but if you want to you can gamble your way and then try to get something really good um for per for products um basically you just pay for yourself with robux this is all robux you can buy like two times boost two times gold and things like that and it doesn't matter to me what you buy <laughs> you can buy if you want to help support the game i guess but um for crates how to get crates um you go here click this inventory and then you want to go to um, what's it called you want to go to your crates yeah crates and you open it like this yeah then you just click open and then it'll be like boom boom and it'll give you like an item there's rarities obviously i don't have none of these rare items down here but i do have most of the purple items right now but yeah that's how crates work pretty simple very easy and then for um equipment this i think is still in whip right now i'm not really sure how this how, how this works yet but you click items and then they have like a bunch of items here these i can't get none of them yet because i don't own them i don't, I don't know how you get them i think get it from missions or from like raid drops i don't really know yet but there's different things in the game you get like a time serum and things like that but yeah i, I don't know if they add any boost to your character but that's all they are right now and then for the regiment how do you become a scout or marine or wherever you want to become so basically you come to this guy right here boom you click him you click view and um for you guys it will pop up as like what's it called for you guys it will say like regimen you want to join and yeah like that but right now i'm already like in the scout legion so it just shows you like groups to join so yeah that's kind of how that works and that's pretty simple yeah you know pretty simple things this game is really simple not gonna lie and now we're gonna go to the um what's it called the skills because i know you guys want to have these super cool skills i have right here okay for skills you want to come up to this guy over here this this shop right here yep it will say what's it called skills on top of it obviously so for skills you click my guy right here my dude yes sir you click skills um you go to a skill tree at first it's kind of complicated but it's pretty simple to do not gonna lie so you have sp points you get sp points every time you level up so every time you level up you can um what's it called unlock something and yeah so first of all for um skills there's different skill trees you can go like with a medic an attack or like um what's it called i think it's like a defend build there's different skills you can go with different builds you can go with but for basically how to do it you have to have like sp points i have one i can buy this right now but i already have it so i can activate it like that and now it's on my skill tree but i'm not gonna use it because it's terrible and to how to go through your skill tree you basically have to go one by one so if you want to upgrade something um let's go like this you have to go one two three four and then like yeah so you have to buy the ones in front of it to buy the ones at the end of it I'll, i don't have any only have two only have these two gold skills which is like um rising thrusts and that's really helpful i would recommend going for this part of the skill tree because it's the most helpful but this part's also not bad for countering and like getting out of being grabbed and killed and things like that but medic skill tree this is how you get like passive hills and like how you dodge titan stuff like that um see i'm gonna, this part looks like when you unlock it I'm 
gonna lock it right now. Boom, it's unlocked. I can just equip this. It's like a passive. I can equip it. Yeah, I put on my sixth slot. Yep. And um, there you go. Now I have a passive heal. And then now on to raids. So basically, raids zone. There's only one raid in the game right now, which is the Aaron Yeager raid. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in like a trailer. But the Aaron Yeager raid is pretty hard to do. I'm not gonna lie, you're not doing this raid solo. <laughs> I tried it multiple times. This raid is impossible to do solo. You're solo, you're not doing it. Like it's actually impossible. And then over here, you have wave. Waves are also pretty easy to do. Basically, you come in here. You have this mission and this only map. You do raids, you can get like infinite XP from this. You just keep killing times over and over and over and over again. It's basically, it gets kind of repetitive, I'm not gonna lie. But if you wanna grind XP really quick, just do this like a bunch of times. And then, yeah, you know, is, everything is against pretty simple. And this, this is how you prestige. If you come this guy here, this is how you prestige. But I'll click prestige, you know, it's like you're not strong enough. Because you have to be level 100 to prestige, which I'm only level 66 right now. So I can't prestige done like that. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. And um, yeah, you know, that's kind of the run on the game. And now I'm gonna go into like a mission and show you guys how to kill Titans or how missions work. Because, you know, you guys are probably interested in that. Also, because that's also part of the game you feel me and um yeah so let's go ahead and hop into a mission right now i'm gonna hop into a media mission on shiganshina and um i'm gonna show you guys how to kill titans and how everything kind of works you know the moving gear is pretty good in this game so once i get into game i'll show you guys how to do that okay we're in game now so i'm gonna show you guys the best way to kill titans because titans are really easy to kill in this game not gonna lie to you guys because the gear is like really smooth so basically when there's a titan in front of you you would have like this little marker on your screen you basically just grapple double grapple i, I double grapple most of the time with q and e so you double grapple you gas you go behind them and just come back around and yeah, that, that's 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 all you gotta do to kill time, guys. That's, that's that's all you have to do. I'm being so serious. I'll do it again for you guys. So if you guys don't believe me, let me go over here real quick. Fleeing like that. Ah, okay. See, literally, you just grapple to the nape, fly behind them, come back around, and then they're dead. For you guys, it might be like two hits because you know you guys don't have upgraded gear right now. But I'm pretty sure you guys can probably one tap a titan on easy mode with easy gear. So you don't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Because if they're like this, you can just. And you know they're dead. That's that's Titan killing for you guys. Yep, you just got your one-on-one -on -one lesson. <laughs> But now on to one of the last things of this video that you guys are probably still wondering how to do, how to get perks. So to get perks, they range off what mission um, like you pick. So basically, if you go to easy mission, you're gonna get a common perk most likely. If you go to a medium, you're gonna get a common or uncommon perk. If you go to a hard, you might get a, a you might get an um, epic perk, but it's really low chance. So you might just get a rare and a hard mission. And a extreme mission, you might either get rare, common, or like all of them. But most of the time, you're probably gonna get rare in this type of mission or uncommon. In the abnormal mode, you have the chance of getting a legendary. And I'm no mission, you're probably gonna get a rare perk or extreme or epic perk. And there's also legendaries, but legendaries are super hard to get. I don't know how I've never got a legendary perk before, but basically that's how perks work. You kind of open them like this. If you go to inventory and you go to your um, what's it called? Perks, you click a perk like this, you set unlock, and then it will basically just show like a card on your screen, it'll be like doo-doo doom. Animation is a uh, crazy the animation is amazing though, and then I'll show you what your perk does. And yeah, perks pretty simple. And now I'm gonna show you how to like fuse perks together and how to make a different perk. You can basically um, fuse your perks together. So if I click combine, it'll show this up on your screen. So if I combine like um, this common, this uncommon, this uncommon, this uncommon, and then uh, I'll combine this uncommon with that one. And then you see it has like a chance. The chances are like actually like RNG luck based. So if you have like a really low chance, you're probably not gonna get nothing. But if I put like a this and this switch to an epic, so I'm gonna combine and I got nothing because I have a like 50 chance. So I wasn't gonna get nothing off the rip. <laughs> not gonna lie. But that's how perks work. You can either fuse them or you can trade them. I'm pretty sure you can trade perks. I don't really know yet. But that's how you make perks work. You can build better perks. And um yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. And um, that's kind of like the entire game. I kind of show you guys how to play the entire game, basically. It's really easy to play. Nothing really difficult. You probably played this like another game that was like exactly like this game. So, yeah. Okay, now let's kind of talk about clans because clans are on the game. Yes, yes, yes. So there is three levels of clans. There's legendary, rare, and uncommon. They don't have common or none like that. It's just these three. So for all the legendary clans, it's a 0.2% chance of getting, which is Ackerman, Jaeger, and Rias. These clans have the most boost to them, but for right now, I'll go with Ackerman because it actually has boost to actually work in the game. Because for Jaeger and Rias, you have to become a titan which is not in the game yet so look kind of kind of useless right now but yeah if you want to go for a really good clan for grinding and just killing titans go for ackerman clan it's the best clan right now for all of the rare clans there's 0.3 percent chance of getting which are all titan shifter clans so how this game how it works in this game right now is that when you die as a titan shifter clan you actually respawn in the game so you have like a second life but you don't spawn as a titan because you know titans are not in the game yet and each clan has a certain boost to it that gives it like an extra like kick to it but the main ability you have is just responding and come back to life. Because, you know, it's kind of hot. It's kind of helpful. You know what I'm saying? For all the uncommon clans, these are 2.2% chance of getting. These clans have, like, simple boosts, like 2% XP boost or, like, 10% like 10 damage boost to them. They're not really helpful at all. So, if you get one of these clans, I would keep it. But if you want to, you can spin off. You have a lot of spins left. But these clans are kind of useless. Make sure you go for either a rare or legendary clan. But, yeah, that's clans in the most simplest way I can explain it. So, yeah.